Hi guys. Um well, it's been a while since I made a video. I've been really tired. I've been in a lot of pain. And I'm sorry the quality of this isn't very good. Um, I'm laying down and the light's behind me, so it's affecting the camera. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'm a little annoyed. I've been trying to get in touch with my gastrointestinal specialist um, for a couple days now. I've been having a lot of pain in my abdomen. Um, it gets worse when I eat. And it also gets pretty bad when I've gone too long without eating. It caught, I've been having a lot of nausea. Um, still having trouble with swallowing. Um, like I choked on my own saliva. Um, food gets caught in my throat. Um, <clears throat> different things. Um, I saw a doctor today about bladder spasms, and he really does think it is bladder spasms and not something worse. But he also wants to do a scope of look inside my bladder to see if endometriosis has gotten to it or if there's sores or anything like that, like interstitial cystitis or something. Um, just being the safe side. He gave me some medication for the spasm, so hopefully those will calm down. Um my blood pressure has still been running a little on the lower side, despite the mess been on. Um, he told me I can take it up to six times a day, but I have a hard time taking it with the side effects. Um, um, it causes some muscle spasms so bad that I can't move. And I'm sorry, I'm spacing out, so this is going to be a really short video. <clears throat> so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stay on the Mestinon, or if I'm going to have to add something to it, or what. Um, my autonomic specialist seems a little stumped. I don't know if there's something else that he would suggest or not. But hopefully I'll get some answers, or at least be able to talk to my doctor. Because this is really frustrating. I hope all of you are doing well and hanging in there. Um, and I'll be back to talk to you soon. Bye.